So what do all these bulletins from housing, the consumer, and the job market mean for stocks? We turn to Jim Paulson for his thoughts. He's the chief investment officer at Wells Capital Management. Hi, Jim. Nice to have you. Good to see you, Susie. A lot of negativity today in the markets. What's your take on today's market action? Well, you know, I, I think a lot of it, Susie, is we, we're digesting a number of big things uh, after a huge market move. Well, that's one of the things we're sort of digesting is we've made such a big move off last fall lows uh, in the stock market overall. We got much higher valuations than we used to have, and we're kind of giving us investors a pause for a moment. In addition, we've had just a, just a dramatic change in long-term interest rates. You're talking about mortgage rates going up, the 10-year Treasury almost hitting 280 today. It was 160 not that long ago. And then, of course, we're going to face Fed starting to taper or, or to slow down quantitative easing here very soon. These are big events, and I think it's led to a little uh, market indigestion, if you will. Um, I, I think that may continue. I think the market's in a trading range for the rest of this year. But I also think we're going to get through it. And as we come out the other end, maybe at the end of the next this year, I think we're going to be stronger for it. We're going to find out that both the economy and the stock market can stand on its own two feet without as much support from the Fed and even in the face of higher yields. And that might put up greater confidence to drive us higher next year. So trading range for the rest of this year, which uh, implies, I guess, that you think perhaps the year's highs have been hit or maybe we'll go back and go a little bit above them. Uh, but let me ask you this. The, the news that we are digesting today, uh, on the one mm -hmm. hand, Cisco's report and forecast last night, on the other, uh, Walmart today, suggests that there may be some underlying issues having to do with capital spending, the appetite of businesses to buy equipment, and on the other hand, the appetite, appetite of consumers to spend. Are you worried about consumers? Are you worried about business spending? You know, Tyler, I, I'm not too worried about it. I, I get some of those companies' reports. I think Cisco particularly reflects weakness coming out of the emerging world, particularly Asia, which is very obvious with the emerging world that slowed down. I, I see that with global trends. Um, but I, I think I'm looking at a consumer that's looking at the best job market we've had in this entire recovery. We've created over 200,000 jobs a month this year on average. Unemployment claims today just fell to their lowest level since before the recession uh, occurred in 2007. Net worths are back to record highs. Debt service burdens are back to record lows. Confidence are at their highest or very close to their highest levels among consumers of this recovery. I think they're going to they're going to be OK. Do they ebb and flow somewhat? Absolutely. Are they probably spending a little more on houses and autos and thereby a little less on other things right now? I think that's true. But I think the trends are in place to continue to have a sustainable consumer going forward. I'm not that concerned about it. Jim, let me ask you something and pick up the uh, comment that was made in Courtney's package about Walmart, where uh, a gentleman was talking about that we are in a split economy. Just what you were saying. You know, one area is doing well, housing, auto sales, and then you hear on the other end maybe some consumer buying, some tech spending, not doing as well. Are we in like, this two-tiered economy? Because everybody always talks about the U.S. economy is doing well or the U.S. economy is not doing well. Are there really two economies going on here? I think there's some of that. I really do, Susie. I, I think that uh, it's not necessarily totally uncommon either. As you come out of a, re a recession, and this is a bad one, and in some ways we're still coming out of it, you come out typically with, with the lower income groups coming out last. And, and I think we've seen that in this uh, recovery as well, where the upper income groups and now maybe more of the middle income is starting to do better, but you still got a big section of the lower income group that's doing bad. You know, we still have a seven and a half percent close, seven and a half percent unemployment rate. A lot of that's still centered in the lower income group parts of the economy. So I do think you see that. So the discounted areas, I think, might be suffering more than the higher quality or, or, or higher end retailers at this point. All right, Jim, thanks a lot. Jim Paulson, Chief thanks. Investment Officer at Wells Capital Management.